One of the most famous painter in the Philippines is Juan Luna. Juan Luna was born in town called Badoc, located in the northern Philippines. When he was four years old, his family moved to Manila. He later attended the Ateneo Municipal de Manila and earned his bachelor's degree. After graduation, Luna took coursework at the Academy of Fine Arts in Manila. During his studies at the Academy, he was influenced by by the artist Lorenzo Guerrero and the Spanish artist Agustin Saez, who advised him to go to Spain and continue his studies. Luna took Saez's advice and resettled in Spain, after which he enrolled at Escuela de Bellas Artes de San Fernando. There he met the painter Don Alejo Vera and followed Vera to room where he was exposed to the art of the Renaissance painters that became so influential to his own art career. In 1881, Luna's painting were shown for the first time abroad at an annual exhibition in Madrid called Exposition Nacional de Bellas Artes. His La Muerte de Cloparta took a silver medal and established his artistic career. In 1884, at the same exposition, he displayed his polarium, which won three gold medals and garnered him critical praise. During this time period, Luna also completed the paintings La Batalla de Lapanto, which was consumed by the King of Spain. He moved to Paris in 1885 and established a studio where he painted El Pactor de Sangre. In 1887, he returned to Madrid and won high acclaim for his paintings La Batalla de Lepanto Redemption de Grandada. Luna married Maria de la Paz Pardo de Taveri late in 1886 and together they traveled to Venice and Rome before settling in Paris. In September of 1892, Luna killed his wife in a jealous fit of rage, but in the end was acute by the court on the grounds of temporary insanity. Shortly after his acquittal, he went back to Spain and traveled to Japan, returning his homeland in 1884 and outset of the Philippine Revolution. Once there, he was soon arrested on suspicion of collaborating with the Filipino rebels and imprisoned. He was acquitted in 1887 and traveled to Spain to act as a representative of the fledging Philippine Republic. After Luna had learned of his brother's death, Luna once again returned to the place of his birth. Not long after he reached the Philippines, Juan Luna died for a heart attack. For his notable artworks, Spolarium 1884, The Death of Cliporta, 1881, El Pacto de Sangre, 1884, The Las Taras Romances, 1882, and Tampuhan, 1895. Luna was once a hero because of his bravery. Luna was named Director of War on September 26, 1898. He became famous for bravery, unusual styling of fighting, and strict discipline. At the age of 31, he was shot dead on June 5, 1899, in Cabanatuan City in an attack led by the disjointed Filipino sergeant. There are two kinds of impressionism of his art. Number one is impressionism is an emotion-oriented and beautiful style of art, while romanticism is both emotional and realistic. Impressionism is a form of abstract art, while romanticism is a perfect blend of reality and fantasy. Romantic paintings depict the struggle of man and nature or man against himself.